I want to figure out what one third times three fourths is with the idea that multiplication means groups of. So one third groups of three fourths. So another way I could say that is what is one third groups of three fourths? Now, before I can tell you what one third of something is, I need to see what the thing is. Like you want me to make a third of a pizza? Well, give me the pizza. So I got to do the three fourths first. So what does three fourths look like? With these toys here, I'm going to have to use two of these as one whole. Just going to make a little note underneath here that uh, two hexagons is the same as one whole. So you got to know what that is. Now I want to show what is one third of that, or sorry, three fourths of that. So I'm going to bring up two hexagons again. And hopefully you remember seeing before that if two hexagons is a whole, then one trapezoid is a quarter of that. And I want three quarters. Let's rotate this one. So there's my three quarters right here. So let's make a little note underneath there. So there's my three quarters. Now that I can see the three quarters, I should be able to identify what is one third of that. So I'm going to redraw again. My three quarters has three red hexagons. I want a third of that group. Well, that would just be one of them. So this piece right here, in this case, that one trapezoid is one third of the three quarters of the whole. And finally, to answer the question, one third times three fourths, I just need to say, hey, what part of a whole is this? I can pretty clearly see that that right there is one fourth of the whole. And so in the end, that tells me that one third times three fourths has to be one fourth. And I'm missing something. How about an equal sign? So there's a, a three step process that's going on here in order to use the idea of groups of to mean multiplication. Before I can tell you what one third groups of three fourths is, I first have to identify what is three fourths. Once I have that, I can say, well, now I should be able to figure out what one third of that is. So that's my step two there. And my step three is finally saying, well, what part of a whole did I end up with after I did that? And that's gotta be the final answer. Now, with that in mind, if we think about the way we stack fractions, one third times three fourths, the numerators multiply. We have that shortcut idea. Why is it true? Why should I be able to multiply the numerators? Multiply the denominators. Why not find a common denominator? Three times four is 12. And that reduces three twelfths down to one, one fourth I have here. Now notice to multiply, if multiplication means groups of, I did not have to find a common denominator. I just multiplied the existing denominators, multiplied the existing numerators. So why do we multiply the numerators and the denominators? We do that because that's what multiplication tells us to do if multiplication is groups of and a fraction is an equal part of the whole fun with multiplication fractions, eh?